All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So, uh, yeah, man, look at this thing. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, about a couple weeks ago, I took possession of a Ballistic Advantage barrel that I purchased from a secondhand vendor. And uh, when I did the bore scope on it, it looked horrible. And you know what? I, I'm kind of, I'm glad I did it. And uh, I tell you what, the reason why is that Ballistic Advantage, Clint himself, as well as a couple of other people, reached out to me and said, that's not who we are. And I was like, okay, who are you? And show me what you got. And they did. Uh, guys, customer service is probably one of the biggest things that I could ever stress to a company that's out there. If you're going to be developing a product and putting it on the market, if you don't back that product, uh, then your word is worth mud. And I tell you what, man, uh, about a week later, this was in the mail to me, and here we go. So what I did, and I did talk to Clint, and I told him, I said, dude, what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to open that box up just like this, because some people make comments that it was supposed to be in bubble wrap, wrapped in there, you're supposed to get two stickers. And my, my response to that was, guys, I get barrels all the time from the same manufacturer, and there's mixed matched and how they're packaged and everything else. Who knows, man, that, could, that barrel could have been sitting in somebody's uh, warehouse for about three or four years. So without further ado, I'm gonna take the uh, knife that I received from one of my good friends, BJ, and we are going to unbox this thing. Here we go. All right, pull that out. Let's pick that right there. Uh, okay, what the hell is this thing? That, ladies and gentlemen, that's a consolation prize. <laughs> Clint, you shouldn't have. Yes, you really shouldn't have. All right, let's see if they know what my size is. Extra large, well, that's pretty cool. Ballistic Advantage t-shirt. I'll hang that on the wall because uh, uh, my last size has a three in it, <laughs> 3X. But that's kind of cool, man. I can actually let my wife wear that. She loves wearing these gun stuff uh, t-shirts that are holsters, uh, which, by the way, we're going to do a review on their holster here pretty soon. But uh, loves wearing their stuff around the shopping center. Okay, so we got a really cool Ballistic Advantage patch. I'll make sure I put that on my bag. And here we go. So, I have the bore scope over here warmed up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and clear all this stuff off. Let's get that t-shirt off of our constitution. And here we go, man. Uh, so, what it was is I had the uh, premium 16-inch 223 Wild 1-8 twist. Now, what they sent me was the tactical government with Ops mid-length premium series. Now, I'm going to have to go out and get a, a, a mid-length gas tube. Damn it, is, I'm wondering, wondering what uh, the twist rate is on this thing. I'm a one and eight twist kind of guy. Don't forget, we have coming up the budget. This is the premium series. We've got the budget uh, versus elite build series. I'm finalizing all the parts and pieces for that thing. And honestly, oh God, oh my, get, get off of there. I'm finalizing all the pieces on that, and I cannot wait to see it. Okay. So here we go, we've got our barrel. What in the hell is that? That's a nipple. All right, so she's covered with Cosmoline. And honestly, guys, the one that I had had no oil in it or no oil on it. It did not have to protect her on the front or the rear. So I might have to, and I might want to go ahead, I want to run a, uh, a, a cloth or patch through this thing before we stick that bore scope in it because I know it's going to be soaking. What is that thing? What does that remind you of? I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this off. Here we go. Take a look. Brutiful. I had a friend of mine, he, he had a speech impediment. He would go, brutiful. Let's look at the crown. Crown looks definitely different from the barrel that we had. As a matter of fact, why don't we go ahead, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two barrels. Uh, so we can see what's going on because this is 223 Wild 1.8 twist, uh, stainless steel, uh, high pressure tested, magnetically particle inspected, as uh, one of the guys said earlier. 
and uh, we'll take it and clean it up real good. And then we'll uh, get right back to you. Stand by. All right, so you can definitely tell the difference between the old, old one and the new one. Uh, the crown is identical, but the the finish, the fit, everything is uh, completely different when it comes to the new one that they sent me, the old one. So I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, I will tell you this. Well, that's from me. Uh, yeah, it it looks like this guy right here had sat in a. Uh, what do you call it, uh, a warehouse or something for a couple of months. So without doing that, I'm not gonna run anything through this, uh, decided against that. So what we will do, let me go ahead and hit the record button over here. Okay, so we're recording. I do have the endoscope or microscope. Speaking of endoscope, I'd just like to say a real quick shout out to my brother, Joe. Ranger Man 90, who uh, had to go through uh, some of that stuff. Now, this is without running a claw through it, so you might see some, you're going to probably see some oil deposits and some other things. Let's go ahead and rotate that around. What I want to do is I want to come up here and I want to see, there's where the we're running into the, uh, the breach. Now we've got the same thing. Now let's do this. See that land? I'm going to follow that all the way up. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how a barrel is supposed to look. Got a little goop right there. But what we're not seeing, like we saw in that other barrel, are the gouges. And I don't know, I don't think they cherry picked this thing for, for me. I'm not sure about that but it is clean. There's another one. And there's no rust. And don't worry about that. That's just something that's sitting in the barrel. It looks like something that's embedded, but it's not. I learned that from the guys from Proof Research. So far, it looks so good. I'm looking at it. Shining barrel. That looks nice. There's the crown. All right, let's roll this thing over so I can look at the uh, gas port real quick. And there it is. There's your gas port. About that. We're gonna take this thing out. We're gonna put it on a, a upper. And we are going to do some shooting with it. This is going to be a great build. Look at that. All right. Well, I tell you what, Blisk Advantage, Clint, guys out there, thank you so much. You, uh, you evidently uh, appreciate the fact that uh, customer service is the meaning of everything. Let's take a look at the lands where they're going in there. There you go. All right, well, that's it, guys. The recovery, Ballistic Advantage. Now, I will tell you this. They've asked for me to send this barrel back to them. I am going to do that so they can take a look at it and figure out what in the world is going on. Lessons learned. Try not to let anything like that happen again. But I will tell you this. I am excited about taking this guy out and uh, putting it through the paces, but uh, that'll about to be a fun. Clint, Ballistic Advantage, thank you so much for taking care of me. And guys, they rest assured they'll take care of you just like they will me. Uh, but before we go, man, I got a really good deal on this guy. I'm a big SIG fan. Francis Smith. <laughs> SIG 220. This is 45 ACP. Uh, soft shooter. And we'll do a review on that coming up. Skoda Boy 32. Like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Yeah, that's a, that is a lot better. Let's see if we can get this thing up here real quick. That is, you can tell the difference in the two. Look at that. Hold on. Well, focus in. All right, whatever. Scatterboy32, I'm out.